A little forward, I do not have Netflix, that money went to Crunchyroll. Fortunately for lunatics like myself who enjoy essay writing, there's a fandom wiki for everything, and most of the time, you can find clips of your subject's biggest fight. He is hindered by the baseless pride that many teenagers come with. This even played a role in his eventual demise in a domino effect kind of way. He did have a girlfriend, and if I were to game master, I'd insist that being a cyborg is a complication in and of itself. Some injuries are a treatment check, and some are a technology check, while still others are both. Now, if for heaven only knows what reason your player decides to continue giving himself cybernetic upgrades, proudly believing they can handle it, Make him roll will to avoid a state of mind called cyberpsychosis. In short, too much wiring in you will make you go cuckoo. In long, a failed check against cyberpsychosis should be treated as a failed will check against temper to the greatest degree, with the player being unable to distinguish friend from foe. I'd also recommend a vulnerability to EMPs if you want to get realistic, though I don't recall any suggestion that this is a typical problem in the cyberpunk universe. It should be noted that these stats are without a cyber skeleton. If the player does acquire a cyber skeleton, I'd assume that's a boost in toughness and strength, maybe another feature or two. Now, calculating David Martinez's stats without cyberware, we're looking at a teenager who got expelled from high school and later became the leader of a street gang. He's not an idiot by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't expect to have an in-depth discussion on Pythagorean theorem with him either. He's used to super speed, so if that were disabled for any reason, I imagine his reflexes would still be amazing considering what he's used to. And Will, my goodness, deceased parents, deceased friends, something about having his spine torn out and replaced. I'm not inclined to give him the max Will I gave to you know, but he's not far behind. Now, with his cyberware, he is dang near Shadow the Hedgehog. I didn't pick that analogy at random, he's gonna get a gun and motorcycle later too. Subdermal armor, he's tough. Gorilla arms, he's strong. I hope it goes without saying, the boost in strength doesn't add on when he's playing soccer. Fortified ankles, he jump good. Sandavistin, this is David's trademark it seems. This makes him a speedster character. Cyber optics, he see good. Cyber audio, he hear good. Now, when I went to look at what cyber audio can entail, I wasn't clear on which possible features David specifically took. So I just started nailing them on until I needed a break. You can find radio bugs, your hearing is extended further, you got radio communication, you have a built-in ECM scrambler, which I chose to call concealment from radio senses. This alone makes David a little unit. What's left for his team to do? For skills, I chose Streetwise because he's a gang leader. I have no shame in giving him such a high number on vehicle skill. I found a clip of him pulling some Mario Kart nonsense on a highway. Improved initiative. Did I mention we're talking about a speedster? Contacts and connections. Gangs are made up of more than one person who may have heard of something. Fearless. After the spine replacement, which, by the way, no painkillers, there isn't much left to be afraid of. Equipment 10. I said guns and bike. Let's check out the guns and bike. Though I don't know why you'd want up to bike when you can break the sound barrier on your own two feet. Some may argue in, ca in case his cyberware is disabled, but so much of his body is metal. If he gets EMP'd, he's paralyzed, borderline a vegetable. Guns are going to do one of three things, and that's ricochet, take a turn to charge a bigger shot, or home in on a target. When this request first landed on my desk, I didn't think too much of it at first. But then I was led to take note of the Cyberpunk 2077 video game that this series is based off of, which in turn led me to find the tabletop RPG that game is based on. I don't believe I mentioned before, but it had been an interest of mine to explore other ta tabletop RPGs with the eventual goal of designing my own one day. In short, I've made a note to myself to explore this further.